So that comes with that passion. Fena fi sheh, first you have to have a sheh to be dissolving and finishing in the oceans of your sheh. Then, fena fi resul. Your sheh looks, checks you up, you dissolve, you finish. He prepares you for the Prophet. And he brings you to the presence of the Prophet, you will be lost in his oceans. Who knows how many years it's going to take you. You will be lost in that ocean. Then you will be prepared for Fanafillah. The highest ones, they never want to reach there by then. Always saying, Ya Rasulullah, we are behind you. We cannot go front. They never go front. They always with the Prophet. So, once upon a time, some ask me this question. Also, that's why I'm saying, uh, say, Chef, pray for me that I have uh, more love to the Prophet and I see the Prophet in my dream. So that word is for that one and for everybody to understand. So the Murid one day, Ask his sheikh also, saying, ya, ya, Oh my sheikh, please, I'm watching everybody so many times coming to you and they tell you the dreams about their prophet, how much, what they have seen the prophet, and I have never seen the prophet in my dream. Please pray for me that I will see the dream, I will see the prophet in my dream. And the sheikh said to him, Okay, my son, it is very easy. It says, Tomorrow morning when you get up, eat. Those salty, salty fish. What do you call those ones in English? Renga or... Huh? Sardine? Sardine is not that salty. Or anchova, or manchova, or manchova, whatever is there. <laughs> Very salty fish. It says, all day long, eat that, but don't drink any water. At night time, make salawat, and go to sleep. You will see the prophet in your dream. So the murid is so happy. The sheikh said to him, he believes in sheikh, of course. So many believes in sheikh. But they don't like the outcome later. <laughs> the sheikh lied to me. <laughs> and the murid went, eat so much fish, saying I should eat a little bit, because sheikh said, eat much as you can, so I should force myself to eat extra. Non-stop that day he ate the fish, but he's so thirsty, but he cannot drink water. He has to go to sleep night time. So he goes to sleep. He gets up in the morning. Sheh is there coming. His face is down. He's very upset. So the Sheh looking, smiling to him. So, my son, what happened? Have you seen the prophet last night? He said, what prophet? Oh, my Sheh. I didn't see prophet in my dream. What you have seen? He said, all night long I have seen waters, waterfalls, the, the fountain, uh, huh? the spring waters coming out. Every side, that's the only thing I have seen, water. <laughs> he said, uh, my son, this is exactly what you were supposed to be seeing. He said, you eat so much salty fish, and the love and the passion now in your heart is so much for the water. But you forced yourself. You didn't drink the water. And you went to sleep. You have to see water. He says, when your love reaches to that level, the level that you have reached to the water, with the salty fish, if your love reaches that much to the Prophet, don't worry. The Prophet will come to you. So, salam alaikum for that one who asked me this question. <laughs> Under that name to everybody. <laughs> to me, to everybody too. So many is saying I have seen it, but there are so many is lying. Believe me too. I have seen one place I used to go every day, 24 hours. Everyone, they are seeing the sheikh was also crooked. The murids, every day they are arguing with each other who's going to make a better dream night times. And next day, <laughs> they are asking each other, so they're making up and they go to the sheikh and they're, it's a good 
addicting to cheating each other in that way also is a good thing, but it's not that good. But it's good at least, alhamdulillah. Cheat yourself in the good ways.